Hello, my loves. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I woke up this morning and I was feeling very, very hypersensitive. And those times when I feel that way, I'm either downloading a lot of information, super tuned into the energy of the world, or there might be something going on within me. I did all my usual activities that I do in the morning, and I realized that I should, of course, embrace this energy and share it with you guys. And by share it, I mean use this energy that I'm feeling right now, hyper, hyper sensitive, in order to tap in, tune in, and share messages that you need to hear and receive at this moment in time. I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but sometimes when we're just like super emotional and just comes out of this random space, it's not always something that we're going through. Sometimes it's something that a message that someone needs to to hear and receive. It's just a part of our gift. And if we fight it, it kind of makes it feel worse. And if we go with it, we can use it as a gift and share that light with other people. And then usually that energy just kind of passes on. So I do want to thank I don't remember who it was, but there was someone on the YouTube channel who was like, Jess, I love your weekly readings, but can you please, please do a pick a card reading for us and incorporate the crystals and the charms? And because she asked so nicely and so sweetly, I grabbed my teacup. I have the charms and I woke up this morning and my energy just 1000% responded to that. So thank you for being so nice and sweet, whoever you are. And I'm more than happy to do this reading for you guys today. So as you can see, we can have three, we have three piles here. We have pile number one, which is this beautiful cherry rose quartz crystal. We have pile number two, which is this copper lightning bolt striking type of energy here. And then we have pile number three, which is this stormy, stormy storm, who I love. Okay. I have not seen the Oracle cards um, I will be shuffling from, I think this is Tarot from the Divine. I can never remember the name, but I will link it down below in the description box, as well as all of my, as well as all of my other favorite tarot decks that I work with. Okay. And then I will meet you, of course, at your timestamp. All right, my loves, if you chose the Cherry Quartz Crystal, this is your reading spirit. Speak to us. What do we need to hear? What do they need to hear right now? King of Wands reversed. I just heard the word energy check-in. Um, hold on, I'm kind of ch channeling right now too as we speak. Something about the hangman here. Reverse is really speaking to me the loudest right now. Okay, I'm gonna carry on, it's not clear. The moon card, interesting. Page of Swords reversed, and I feel like we need one more. Okay, wow. I just heard, and it, this is going to be real, it's going to probably sound really random, but I heard someone say, I asked you a question. Someone's waiting to hear from someone or something. I'm also getting this message right now that whatever someone said or whatever someone asked, it was not easy for them to ask. They did it. And now they're like, I get this like heightened message or this heightened feeling of like infinite frustration and where it's coming from. It's not, it's not directed at, um, I'm like channeling right now. So it's not directed at you. Let's say this is someone who asked you a question. Their frustration is not directed at you. Their frustration is like this feeling of like giving up. And I feel like they, this was their last hope. This was their last, it, there's this, okay. When I start stuttering like this, it's because I'm really channeling. Um, this was their last hope in like, believing in mankind, believing in humanity, believing in this wish coming true, this love being real. And when they ask this question or they put out this information or they put out 
talked about their feelings or whatever the case was, and they were left kind of hanging in limbo, all of this dark shadow information started bubbling up to the surface. And now it feels like they're, okay, wow, I just heard they're enjoying their own toxicity, meaning that instead of them finding ways to heal what's coming up, they're almost sur- totally surrendering to it. And spirit is observing. Spirit is watching this happening without any judgment. This could be you or this could be someone else. And with the message of I asked you a question, it doesn't actually have to be it asked a question. It was literally something that you put out or that a person put out like a statement or a a belief or they articulated their feelings or their thoughts and then they were waiting for the response and either they heard nothing or they didn't hear what they wanted to hear and now they're just like okay wow now I give up nothing feels good to me nothing is right and now I'm just gonna give up be toxic not make healthy choices not show up If this is a project that you're working on or career that you're working on, you were, you put in some work, some effort, you asked for a raise, you asked for a promotion, you either didn't get a response or it's not the response that you wanted. And now you're just like, you know what? Fuck it. If this is a relationship or just something that you put out to the universe, you're, you set the intention, you put it out to the world, especially with the moon card here. It's like this, I actually see this as like a conversation that you're having with the divine or the universe or your higher self, maybe doing a ritual or maybe praying because you were told to pray. You did it, you put it out there and then either nothing happened, it's been empty, it's noiseless. I don't know why I'm hearing like noiseless, like it just You were expecting something in return and you got nothing or whatever you got did not match what you were, you felt that you would be promised. And now you're just like, I give up. I don't even, and I almost hear someone saying like, I don't care anymore. And that's not true. You genuinely do care. Or maybe this person cares. I'm not going to say that it's you. It could be anybody. I do want to clarify. I heard... Someone wants, well, someone wants to run. Yeah, see the devil card here. This is exactly what I'm talking about. The devil card and the queen of wands. Clarifying the king of wands reversed. Someone really just wants to run away. They want to start over. They want to start fresh. fresh. They want a new beginning. And they just feel like maybe they have exhausted all of their resources in this space whatever this is wherever you're at now you feel like you've exhausted it you feel like you can't find your match you feel like you can't find something that matches what you put out like you just feel so I mean I keep hearing like infinitely drained infinitely exhausted infinitely infinitely taken advantage of so now you're just like fuck it with the the hangman reversed and the nine of wands reversed, this is, again, something that it just, you've literally put up a fight or you've been trying, you've been persistent, you've been, con, you've been con, like, maybe believing in something that you don't actually believe, like, you still kind of question it, but everyone's like, this is real, this is, if you do this, this will happen, and then you're like, okay, and then you do all this work, you do all this whatever is expected of you, and then you get nothing in return, and you're just like, okay. It's really making you question, like, why am I here? Why am I here? Do I belong here? Do you even value me? Like, I just want a fresh start. I want to break free, break away, and I think this is really what, again, I keep, I'm kind of revisiting what it was that I said before, that this is someone who... It's like you needed, Spirit is saying like we were watching you kind of need this confirmation in order for you to believe in love or believe in yourself or believe in your progress or believe in whatever. And when it didn't happen, now you're like you feel all this frustration and agitation and you might be directing it towards the wrong thing. 
because now whatever it was that you were waiting for, whatever it is that you were looking towards, when it didn't show up how you thought that it would, now you lost all faith and hope in the situation. And spirit is like, I, we really want you to examine why this meant so much to you and actually go and heal. And now I'm getting called to the rose quartz here. Actually go ahead and heal the real issue, which has to do with your lack of faith in God, your um, your spiritual hygiene. Are you taking care of your spiritual self? Are you honoring your spiritual self? Are you listening to what everyone else is doing and it's inauthentic to you? Are you choosing partners who don't value you, you because there's a part of you that doesn't believe that you're worthy of love or whatever the case is? Are you self-sabotaging your, your health practices by doing things that dishonor the body in order to get a quick reward? There's so many things that are coming through. Let's talk about the moon card spirit, 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 spirit. I keep hearing someone just calling out to the divine. Oh my goodness. The lovers and the two of cups. Who are you? I, I'm hearing spirit just said clearly to tell me, to tell, to tell you. Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? I feel like you putting the energy back into your heart source, your heart chakra is going to answer the questions that you are really needing. Again, I want, I want to like, I just want to hold your hands right now, babe. Like literally just put your hands out. Let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just hold hands through the internet. Okay. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> if you guys only knew how much of a friend you have in me, you would just be like, I knew it. <laughs> but let's just hold hands. Okay, so what I want you to receive right now, you beautiful being, is your divine counterpart. Your divine counterpart right now, I know this sounds so cliche, you're going to be like, oh, Jess, I know, I know. But your divine counterpart right now is going to be you. It's going to be you. It's going to be the aspects within you that have been neglected, that have been shunned, that have been held back, that have been violated, abused, hindered, suffocated, starved. You are going to hold yourself. You are going to hold yourself, the self that has been abandoned. And you are going to love him or her back into wholeness. That is your divine counterpart within you. That is your divine counterpart within you. You and yourself, your higher self, are merging without any conditions. You are accepted and lovable as is. You don't need any external thing to validate your worth. And your source of fulfillment and joy and purpose and love is going to come from something higher than this physical reality around you now. None of that matters. What spirit wants you to do is show up every day in a way that is compassionate and kind and graceful and loving towards yourself towards the divine or towards the universe and then towards others. There's a level of frustration here that is keeps getting repressed and pushed down because you're not ex you're struggling with accepting it. You want so badly to believe in what everyone is telling you. You want so badly to believe that this is real. You want so badly to believe that spirituality looks like this. You want so badly to believe that love looks like this or that this is going to. All of these beliefs that you have and spirit is by the grace of God just shattering that because that is a fallacy. That's not real. True love, true source comes from deep within. I'm also... 
hearing you are being awakened within your dream state. Your dreams are speaking to you because that's when that is the only time when you actually allow your conscious mind to rest. And it's probably not you consciously choosing it. It's just you have no choice. Well, you're so exhausted or maybe you're having issues sleeping. Either you're sleeping too much or not sleeping enough. Or just having like light sleep. So spirit is saying to you, yeah, six of cups. I feel like there's a routine that you are returning to that is going to, look, even this little, I was going to say crow, but it's actually, because that's what it is here, but I see a hawk. King of Swords. Speak to me about the King of Swords spirit. There's an additional message here. Um, I, I'm hearing like self-care, you guys. You might be doing certain things that... Wow. Okay. So you might be doing certain things that people are telling you like, this is how you feel better. This is how you take care of yourself. But honestly, for you, it feels like it's all a facade. It feels like it's all a show. It feels like it's all appearance. And then you wonder like, okay, why don't I feel better? Because it's not, that's not how you feel better. You don't just get your nails done, your hair done, or change your outfit or your, your wardrobe or totally uproot, you know, your whole world and start over fresh or buy a house or, you know, um, buy a boat. <laughs> all of these extra, I'll start a new relationship or hang out with new people. And then all of a sudden you're brand new. No, it doesn't work that way because the issues of the past will still carry forward. And I just heard spirit say, tell them it's not hopeless. Tell them that it's not hopeless. Tell them, I just heard the word pay it forward. Someone needs to meditate a little bit on that energy of like paying it forward because that's a whole specific message all by itself. Um, but for you right now, what I'm getting is this message about it's not hopeless. Like it's this is not the end of the journey for you. In fact, this is the reason why if you're experiencing a lot of pain and frustration, the reason why it's so painful is because you can deeply sense that something new is beginning. Something new is emerging within your life. And this is where I can also sense someone being like, just don't make promises. I've heard this before. I know. I know. I know. But I would, I would never lie to you. I would never lie to you. So at least in this moment, I do want you to just trust me or trust God or trust yourself. And I want you to be very, very patient with this step-by-step -step process because it can be a very day-to-day -day, moment by moment. This is a very specific message for someone. Spirit, last, let's kind of close out and then let's go into the charms. But Spirit, can you speak to us about the Page of Swords? I knew it. Rest. Four of Swords. I love that for you. And then this last three of cups, I feel like this is where we're going to kind of, there's going to be a shifting here with how you've been celebrating six of swords. I feel like how you've been normally enjoying your time. <laughs> I put that in air quotes because like to each their own guys, I'm not here to judge. I am not here to judge, but I just feel like you're moving on from how you were normally partying or hanging out or wasting time or maybe Netflix and chilling literally or maybe figuratively who knows especially with the <laughs> the two of cups here and the lovers you guys are so funny I just love you I love ya real random I'm gonna get the charm set up for you but um I'm on TikTok now you guys you know they reached out to me before they were even a thing I mean before they were as big as they were. And they were like, come onto our platform, we'll pay you. And I was like, no. Now look at me. Oh, you guys have a lot of charms. It's so nice the time that we share together. Am I right? Okay, maybe that's just me. So what do we have here? Hmm. 
something about diet and lifestyle is coming through, making sure that you're really taking care of your physical body. Be very mindful and, and aware of like substances, substances that you're eating or things that you're intaking. If you're doing drugs or drinking, that's not going to help you. <laughs> you know this. Also, the quality of the drugs might not be the highest quality. That's a specific message. Or it could be food. Let's say you're trying to take care of your body and you're like, oh, I heard that orange juice is really good because it's filled with vitamin C, but you're like not drinking pure orange juice. You're drinking orange juice flavored syrup. <laughs> juice. <laughs> Our society is so toxic sometimes. I'm also... seeing um, massage, physical touch. Not in a way that is sexually intimate. But it just stimulates the blood. I feel like you're needing that. You could do it to yourself, you know? Let me get my little wand here. Wow, I'm so grateful right now. This feels really good. Okay. We have, you are always in my heart. Some of you guys feel really, this is going to make me cry. This is going to make me feel emotional. Some of you guys feel really, 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 really abandoned. If someone left you, or if you have childhood issues of being left behind and that type of trauma, it, it wasn't personal. Them leaving had nothing to do with you. It, it had everything to do with them being broken and them just not, it's like you're waiting for something to come in and you're just, you're not hearing it. Like you're, it's not coming in. Like it's not with this, um, bird nest exactly I just see you nesting right now and just it's not hibernation it's very restorative it's very healing it's very cathartic it's nurturing yourself especially while you're growing don't be so hard on yourself you are such a good person you're such a loving person. You're such a compassionate person. It's not about what you can give all the time. Sometimes it's what you need to receive right now. Oh, little birdies, two birdies. Some of you guys are dreaming about family. Yeah, someone's really thinking about loss here. I also see spirit telling you to let it go as best as you can, this loss, and I know it's tough, but it, I don't want to say that everything happens for a reason, because that's not fair, but there is an, an attachment that you're struggling with. And spirit is like, like the, the love lives on, your hope lives on, your dream lives on. It's not abandoned. Like it hasn't been completely abandoned. Hey Google, turn the music off. Yeah, justice card. Some of you guys are really, really hard on yourselves. I'm definitely getting that. We have the charm J. We also have a little golf. Oh, definitely puppy energy here. So we have dogs or pets or maybe a pet was like your only constant companion that's definitely people wonder why i love my dogs so much but they have been the most constant thing in my life unconditionally loving and i just love to give to them like giving to them gives to me you know like taking care of my animals doesn't take anything from me even the work gives back to me so i just love it so much some of you guys are very very defensive with this cancer crab here and then also we have this guardian angel in this connection to ancestry, we have J and X. We also have the inner child here, the inner wounds. We also have people who have taken advantage of you. We have sister, the connection of sisters or sisterhood and finding, maybe you're gonna need to be spending some time with your friends. 
This spider here feels like a double-edged sword, to be honest with you. Because sometimes it can be toxic and poisonous, but also sometimes the poison can be medicine. So just make sure that your shadow aspects, your shadow side, isn't totally consuming you right now. You are trying to, Spirit is really trying to protect you right now, but sometimes I think that your faith or your disappointment in the divine or the universe has caused you to believe that the best thing for you to do is to close yourself off and have and not have hope anymore, but that is not the solution. Okay, some of you guys are waiting for good luck and you're needing a breakthrough with that. I'm sorry. She dreams of faraway places and daring adventures. Do you write books? Do you write poetry? I don't know why I'm getting that. Someone wants to write a book. That's what I should be doing right now, to be honest with you. Now, let's look into your oracle. Did I tell you guys I love you? <laughs> I mean it. Love you so much. All right. We have flirts. But I feel like that with this, it's like literally falling in love with life and falling in love with yourself and falling in love with your partner and not having things be so serious all the time and just, I don't say non-committal to the point where it's, uh, I just heard disobedient, but um, not non-committal to the point where you're disrespecting yourself or your own hopes and wishes, but just being lighthearted again and maybe a little joyful falling back in love with life, falling back in love with yourself, falling back in love with your partner. Keep it simple. Exactly. I see a big message here when it comes to simplifying your life. That's a good thing for you right now. They choose you or they chose you. You're here for a reason. You're here on this world in this world for a reason. What you give will come back. Exactly. I said this to you earlier. I just feel like a part of you is just so exhausted because you're not getting anything in return. This isn't just physical stuff. It's like hope and faith and healing. It's just time for you to receive that right now. Someone, there's a lot of messages around here about adventure. Of course, this can be a trip, but I do see publishing for someone here. I do see writing a poet, writing poetry, writing a book going to school, very much like ninth house matters, publishing and exploration and culture, flexible, peace, and come to the edge, but come to the edge was reversed. Some of you guys are just, you've been pushed to the edge for too, for too long. <laughs> I laugh because it's relatable. Some of you guys have been pushed the, to the edge for too long and you're just like, I, I'm, I just need peace right now. And that's what the spirit is really trying to give to you. Um, especially by simplifying the things that it is that you thought had value. They don't have any value and significance to you, um, which is a good thing because now you're really grounding yourself in something super solid. And as I'm saying that we have the earth spirit here with stability and then we have playfulness. Exactly. Falling in love with life again and falling in love with yourself simply by not having any hardcore expectations of yourself and just practicing joy right now and p practicing playfulness and reading fun books or maybe horror 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 books maybe the weight of the world has become too heavy for you and then we have the rainbow miracles see what i'm saying this is a beautiful card there is definitely divine intervention in your life and awakening within your life and awakening within yourself right now so if you feel like oh my god jess i can't anymore yes you can Yes, you can. It's good to just lay your troubles into the dirt, rest, and allow the universe to look out for you. Okay? I love you guys. If you need me, I'm going to be in Bahati Life Apothecary, of course. You can find me there at BahatiLife.com. There I'm working my magic all the time. <laughs> That's what I do best. Virgos, be like... I will see you guys. Oh, make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because, of course, there's plenty more where this came from. And you can find me on Instagram and TikTok if you search at Bahati Life. Love ya. <laughs> okay, babe. If you chose the copper lightning bolt, this is your message. And a good one at that. Oh, guys, I just had a vision of a giraffe. <laughs> Random. 
The giraffe represents seeing things from a fresh perspective. I'm also seeing activity within the kitchen or the home life. Maybe someone's cooking or something is cooking up for you, like you're pr preparing something. Some of you guys are wondering, is this gonna work out? <laughs> is this gonna work out? I just heard, like, just the fact that you're doing it, like, the effort is really what matters here. That's, it's like, um, sorry, I'm listening to spirit while I'm shuffling. It's like you didn't have to, but you did, and I appreciate it. So even if it does, doesn't turn out the way that you'd like, it's just, whoa, shoot. <laughs> If it doesn't turn out the way that it, um, you wanted it to, it's still amazing. Just the fact that you did it. So do it. Don't expect perfection. What if you're just experimenting right now? Now, this message that I'm telling you, it doesn't have to, it's not going to re resonate with anyone, everyone because not everyone's going to be in the kitchen. It, this is a metaphor. Speaking of which, we have Queen of Pentacles here. Reverse in the page of wands. Both of them are the re reversed. And what I can see is that there's this higher expectation of yourself that you give to yourself. I'm going to be this. I'm going to master this. I'm going to do this. And there might be a learning curve. <laughs> there might be a bit of a learning curve right now, which you can expect. And spirit really wants you to embrace that right now. This has to do with where you're at in your life. Um, this has to do with what you're learning currently within your life. Don't expect to master something overnight. Don't expect, if something does come in, like there's clearly an opportunity or there's clearly a gift or something that you're doing this for, like you're doing this for someone or you're doing it for yourself. So it's already manifested, but don't expect you to just completely, um, let's say, what's the best way I can describe this is let's say you're shooting for a 10, 10 the highest level that you can go. And then you make it to a four. <laughs> That's just as good. That's just as significant, even though it's not the 10. I don't even know if I necessarily see you showing up every, every day and making shooting for a 10. I, it feels like something that is short lived and temporary. So it's, it's pretty much just a lesson. It's just an experience, and that is valuable. Spirit is like, don't have heavy expectations on this being, like, the groundbreaking thing. But that also doesn't mean, like, don't try it. Still try it. That's a very specific message for someone. Even if it may not be forever, it has some level of value to it right now. Like, can you allow yourself to gather you know, these experiences, these moments, because they're, they're worth it. They're worth it too. And the truth is like, are you going to want to stay in this space forever? Like you're just trying something out. I do see like new hobbies, new relationships, new things coming in, like new, new interests entering your life or trying on different things that you may not necessarily have, you know, ever done before. Queen of Wands reversed and the three of coins, three of pentacles upright. So again, this is energy that's like, don't expect you or whoever to master this overnight or to just completely, if it's okay, another metaphor, let's say you got hired to play baseball professionally, and you're dealing with people who have been in the big leagues since forever. And then here you come just this anomaly that's super gifted and they're just like, yo, this kid has potential and then you go out and play the, the game first and you're like, that was not my best game. It's like, okay, it's you don't give up though. You're just learning right now. So show up and get still continue to train. And for some of you guys, you might be sitting on the bench instead of 
playing where you want or playing for the t- right team that it is that you want, but it's not forever. That's what spirit is saying is like, whatever the situation is right now, it's not going to be forever, but that doesn't mean that you just toss it out and just be like, fuck it. Like it does serve a, a very valid purpose right now for you in your journey, in your life. So just, you know, embrace it. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. You have nine of swords reversed here and five of pentacles. Some of you guys are like, this is not what I wanted. This is not what I was expecting. I don't belong here. It's never going to happen. Or I don't like it. This is going to turn out shit. <laughs> Pardon my French. I just want to be honest. Um, yeah, this is gonna, it's not going to work out. It's going to be awful. Like this trip fell apart. Now we're not going. COVID ruined everything. It's like all of these things, you know, it's just like we hear you. Spirit's like, yeah, we hear you. But also there's there's a time and a place for everything. And this is where you're at right now. So just embrace it. I just heard the word abnormality. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Everyone's pulling the lovers today. So lovers card reversed and nine of cups reversed. Again, it's like something that you want, but it's not what you want. <laughs> hmm. I think that if it was to be something that you would want it to be, you would have to change some aspect within yourself. And spirit's like, don't you dare. Don't you dare change who you are for this. Don't you dare compromise your standards. Don't you dare settle for less. No. Yep. Page of Pentacles, exactly, and the Empress. There's something that you're in right now that you're not meant to stay in it forever. You really are not meant to stay in it forever. It's not even like you have to evolve it's just that you are um you're passing through i just get this energy of you passing through and i don't feel like you're going to stay here forever which seems like a good thing you're you're just picking up a bit of information a tidbit of something or learning something there's this learning curve that needs to happen um before you go on to your next great adventure or before you go on to where it is that it's like not too long from now, put the work in or you learn the lesson and then you carry forward. You don't, you know, you release it when it's time. Yep, <laughs> we knew it. Ten of cups, happily ever after. Then you're going to find exactly what it is that you're looking for. But right now, this doesn't feel like it is it for you. But that doesn't mean that you just throw it out with the trash. Okay. So that's a very specific and short message for my pile number two. I don't like putting numbers on you guys for my lightning bolt. My For my lightning bolts. Let's get the charms going. You thought this was the end of your reading. No, ma'am. why I'm hearing um Amy Winehouse and uh Courtney Love okay there's this I just heard the words um power of performance so this could be a very singing group like a singing group a group that's creating a group that shows up for the world and puts on a show or is magical and enchanting and some of you guys are wondering like is it all paying off i feel like i've been doing this for a long time i'm not getting the numbers or the views that it is that i feel like i deserve yep when it's someone this thumbtack someone is really really frustrated here that's what it is i'm getting and i just feel like you being just cr- you you being completely unique okay wow we have the polar opposites sitting right on top of each other capricorn and cancer sitting right on top of each other so this has a lot to do with your work and your home life balance some of you guys are really putting on a show i don't know why i'm getting that so much from this also this teddy bear too you're working on your career. Someone is really, really frustrated with their work right now or where they're at or with someone. You're just not have. Oh, my God. We have another polar opposite. 
We have Virgo and we have Pisces energy. Interesting. Yeah, some of you guys want to be in the forefront or you want something in the forefront and it's just not happening. You're trying to attract it to you. Yeah, you have grace, protected, inspire. What's this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Kiss a lot of frogs. It just feels very transformative. And some of you guys really are singing, 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 singing out, croaking out, singing out. She believed she could, so she did. Exactly. Why second guess yourself right now? You've come so far to just start second guessing now. She'll funny. What else do we have here? Beautiful inspire a lot of words of inspire forever showed up twice oh three inspires you're meant to inspire the world through your art through your dreams through your creation namaste that's about just like totally honoring you it whatever it looks like right now and calling out to the universe a lot of you guys are dealing with some blockages oh you got my favorite charm the coffee cup you guys are grinding right now you guys are grinding you have the knife and the fork you have the initials b oh my god someone's trying to be beyonce <laughs> some of you guys are trying to be <laughs> good for you some of you guys are definitely trying to be the next beyonce spirit is like literally with this like spiral here you're it's, things can be a little chaotic and weird how they all fall into place, but they will fall into place. Can you just trust it for now? Um, we also have I love the volleyball here. So there's something that is that you genuinely love, 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 and it has to do with your sports, creativity, um, arts, creation, singing, putting it out there. It's this dream that you've had that's been frozen for some time. You feel like it's stagnant. You feel like it's not making any progress, but it will keep grinding, keep grinding, keep going. It's so funny because, and then you have the cat here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I feel like you need to strike out on your own. Just really spending a lot of time putting yourself out there and making sure that when you show up, you're not doing it half-assed, you guys. I know that you know this, but if the, if this has to do with someone wanting to be a celebrity or being in the public eye, you can't show up half-assed. Make sure that you look good. I know that sounds really superficial. I know that this is a spiritual channel, but you guys, we talk about balance here, Okay. We're not talking about the one side. There is a level of balance. I never forget. I can never remember these runes, but they are here for you. And I will link them down below in the comments. Okay, what does this say? God hath given you one conception and you make yourself another. So what does this mean? This means that the universe created you beautiful with one look, with one face. And literally beautiful. You have this word beautiful here. And you for whatever reason, are feeling like you are not beautiful or you are not enough or you might be changing. You might be in the process of your beauty is transforming in a way that makes you more confident and more self-assured. Okay? Some of you guys are feeling like there's a lot of a lot of things re revolving around beauty here and aging and, you know, you know, not feeling like you're good enough or that your time is ticking or your time that you're running out of time and that's just simply not the case you're hurting yourself with those thoughts or some of you guys might actually be doing with this work here you might be doing diet um lifestyle changes you might be undergoing a procedure a medical procedure in order to change something about yourself you might be canceling out crossing out bad habits in order to evolve and to be inspired we have the temperance card here and we have the moon card here. So the moon card doesn't feel negative to me in this reading. It feels very much like putting on an illusion or painting the illusion in order to match how it is that you feel every single day. Actually, let me just dump these in the bag instead. So that's what it is I'm seeing. That's a very specific message for someone. And I'm going to leave your runes. Out. 
so that I can check on them later. Let's look at your um, your Oracle deck. All right, let's start with Love and Romance. <laughs> That's so funny. Finances and career, exactly. I just feel like you guys are in the in-between when it comes to your career. Don't give up yet. Look, love doesn't have to be near. Just because you haven't seen what it is that you want or your progress doesn't mean that it's not going to happen it is coming to you it is going to happen no two flowers there's a lot of comparison here um no two flowers are the same yet all are beautiful in their own way exactly what makes you different is what's going to make you stand out look that you have options is meaningful rock on okay so there's different things that you can probably explore in order to help yourself feel better or maybe if this has to do with a relationship, you guys, um, it, it's it's learning. Like you're learning, you're working out something within your relationship. And whatever it is, maybe it's the situation, maybe it's the circumstances that you're in, or maybe it's the relationship itself. It's not going to last forever, okay? This is not the final stop. Look, okay, here we go. Here and now and exchanging gifts. So there's something going back. You know, there is something that you're getting, giving and receiving here in the present now. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about the future. Stay here now because you are gaining something from this moment right here. Look at this bluebird. This bluebird, it's like singing out. It's calling out. It's focusing on beauty and the moment and what makes it feel good and what makes it feel, feel pretty and light. That's what I'm seeing for you. We have enchanted fern grotto refuge and then you also have courage a lot of you guys are resting right now before some major transformation happening within your career your work your publicity or your appearance those are the main themes that i'm seeing and as i looked at the clock just now it was seven seventeen seventeen so i really want you guys to um tap into that energy that was a really quick message if it resonates, I would love to hear it. I would love to know. And also keep in mind that I'm going to post what your rune means down below in the description box. If you need me, you can find me at bahadilife.com. That's the apothecary. It's where I work my magic, my candles, my oils, et cetera, et cetera. I'm constantly working for you guys all the time. Um, big time when it comes to success and publicity, I would definitely, it's funny that this candle's burning here. The bird of paradise candle would be super helpful and beneficial to you in those, um, in your progress within your goals. That's what it is I'm seeing big time, or I'm also seeing some lunar goddess oils. What am I also getting? Goddess vibes, hands down big time. I'm so glad we're doing this right now. I think I said that in the first pile, but I really mean it. All right, you guys literally love you. Um, make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because you're playing more videos where this came from and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, I'm on TikTok now. <laughs> Bye. Hello, babe. If you chose the stormy crystal, this is your reading. <laughs> I feel like there's definitely a message here for you. I just heard, get ready, buckle up. <laughs> uh, I don't know about you, but I don't like roller coasters. You know what I learned the other day? <laughs> While I was out meeting some friends, there's this girl who I was talking to. I don't know why I'm sharing this with you guys, but maybe there's a reason, but she skydives for fun, which is pretty awesome, but that's definitely not my cup of tea. I'm Virgo sun, Virgo moon, cancer rising. I like to have my feet on the ground. I feel safe there. Anyways, she was telling me that there's no drop in the pit of your stomach when you jump out of the plane. Is that true? Have you guys ever gone skydiving? Spirit, why are we talking about skydiving right now? Because <laughs> Spirit's like, because that's where you're headed, honey. Is that bad? You, Spirit, you know I don't like skydiving. So why, why? 
I think you're about to hear something. I just heard the word plague. I heard divine consciousness. Interesting. The collective, like collective consciousness. Death card reversed. I heard just now too, hold on to your hat. And like, honestly, like the spirits are like laughing right now. <laughs> it's like a game. Like they're playing, you guys are playing a game right now. Well, not this pile, but spirit, like the spirit. That's it. They're playing a game right now. They're not, they said they're harboring the truth. They're not, they're holding on to it. They're not going to tell you right now. It's going to be a mystery. They're like cackling. There's something in the works right now that you don't see, that you don't know. And they're just like so tickled by it. It's almost, it doesn't feel malicious, but it also feels tricky. <laughs> they're like, this is the last, last thing that they want or the last thing that she says that she wants, but we're going to bring it in. <laughs> Funny. Can we clarify the temperance card reversed? Okay, Spirit definitely wanted it. Five of Wands, Nine of Wands. Some of you guys, this pile right here, right now, you have been... Let's just keep... I'm going to keep it 100% with you. Um, you have been fighting. There is a part of you that has been fighting for a really, really, really long time. There's been a lot of conflict. I just heard the word grievance. Um, a lot of things that you've been struggling with for a long time that it's just become your normal, it's just become what it is that you expect. And you, I'm also looking at this fox here and normally I see it as a good thing, but for you, I feel like you're very skeptical. And then now that I'm thinking about it, you have the queen of swords and the page of swords. So if any information comes up, she's like, her first reaction is not to be like, welcome. Her first reaction is coldness and to stare at you. And her stare tells you, why are you here? What do you want? State your, state the facts or you're either getting cut, getting the knife or getting the door slammed in your face. A lot of you guys are... You're so used to being on the battleground. You're so used to fighting or forcing or teaching others to the point where it's just like it's made you feel very bitter, cold, distant by how people use you to learn a lesson from the, from from you. But then they don't. It's like they walk away from it better and you walk away from it cold. Like you walk away from it being like, Okay, like I'm glad you're happy, but like I'm now I'm uh, now I'm annoyed, now I'm frustrated, now I'm exhausted. Now I got to deal with this. This I never noticed this before and I'm sure these are probably trees, but this is giving me Kalima vibes. This is all the heads of the things that you have slayed, all of the the things that if you look at the timeline of your life, there have been a lot of people that have helped that you have helped, but who helped you? I'm getting so agitated <laughs> with this deck right now, with this group. This group has had enough. Like, this group has genuinely had enough. And now you're like, I don't even want anything or anyone anymore because people just, they suck. Like, they don't, I, I'm going to question you first before I help you. And I genuinely, like, what I'm what I'm hearing, I'm hearing someone saying this. Like, I genuinely don't even want to help the people that I know. I'm more apt to help someone I don't know because I'm not emotionally invested in it. But if it's someone that I do know, I don't even want to help you. Like, I want you to kind of, like, if you do show up for someone, it's very short. It's very, very quick. It's not like you don't stay in that space long enough because you just feel like you're there for everybody and no one's really there for you right now or for a long time yep queen of wands you are done -zo. queen of wands reversed it's like the storm clouds i'm really seeing the storm clouds around you you're just so and honestly don't take this the wrong way i feel like these storm clouds are coming from within her 
it's not just like the external environment. There's something about her that she, there's a storm and you also chose the storm crystal. There's a storm that's been brewing within you that it ends up manifesting and projecting into your, into your surrounding world. And now spirit is like, okay, Jess, now come back. Now that you share that message, now share, share with them that there's something in the works here that they might initially, AKA they, they, AKA you, you may look at it, cold stare, gaze it right in the eyes and be like, come any closer and you're going to catch these hands. Like, you think I won't, I will. I've done it before and I'll do it again. Something is definitely wanting to make its way into your life. Three of cups here and it's definitely there for your enjoyment. But some of you guys are like, yeah, but I'm not here to play games. Look, <laughs> justice card. Justice card, um, Six of Swords, Hierophant, Two of Pentacles. You are not here to play games anymore. You're you're set. You're set. Um, there is a strong message here, you guys, about protection. If you're someone who's helping other people, you're going to want to up your protection game because, and I can say this from experience, this is one of the reasons why I don't do readings. One of the reasons why I don't do um, in, like private readings for people anymore because they have really abused my gifts and then try to hurt me when I have a boundary or when I'm just like, no, I can't do this. They feel like I should be available to them and they're emergencies not taking into consideration that I'm a human being and that I have my own emergencies or I have my own life or maybe that what they're asking is not something that is good for them like what they're asking for from me when it comes to like me working my magic for them or me doing a reading for them is something that it's like they're they're asking it from a very toxic place and like I I won't I don't like morally I'm not going to help you do something that is going to hurt you or hurt another person. That's not how I roll. And then when I tell them and I, I put that boundary out there, then they want to come in and, and hurt me or try to make bad reviews or whatever the case is. And it's just like, there's no, there's like, there's so many different sides to the story. And like, you're only telling your story and no one's asking me what my side of the story is. And I'm just like, all right, well, I'm putting down these coins. I'm just not doing this anymore. So the reason why I'm saying that is because this is the pile that needs to, and I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just being honest with you. And there's nothing to be afraid of. Number one, there's nothing that you need to be afraid of. Um, but you really need to protect yourself from people who just want to, they don't have the best of intentions for you, for anybody else, or even for themselves. And what they're asking for or what they want from you is a part of this like plan that's not good. It's toxic or even evil or malicious. And you can sense that. But because they're coming from this toxic hurt place, an odd place or off balance and skewed place. Now, all of a sudden, you've got this energy just because someone was attracted to your light and wanted something from you. And you're just like, no, I don't want to party with you. I don't want to talk with you. I don't want to show up for you. I don't want to help you. I don't need to help you. And they're just like, well, why? And then all of a sudden now you have drama on your hands where you're just like, I don't even know you like that. Look, the prince, the empress, I almost said princess, empress and the magician card reversed. This is the pile that's just like, you know what's best for you. You definitely know what's best for you. And anybody else who's trying to maliciously take advantage of you or maliciously take advantage of your gifts or take your kindness for weakness, they can go, pardon my French, they can go fuck themselves. They literally, I know as spiritual people, like we're not allowed to talk like this, whatever. I honestly, guys, this mentality, especially with the higher font here, where is the higher font? This mentality of like how the spiritual community is supposed to be, how they're supposed to act, it's the same spiritual people, the same witches that were once in the Catholic church or once in, in these different religions saying like, oh, you can't do this, this, this. Now you're becoming the embodiment of it. So I don't know why I'm going off on a rail. This, this, this pile has just agitated me 1000%. And I just, I totally get it. This is what it is that you're feeling because I'm feeling it clearly. You guys are just dealing with some, some bullshit here. And I hate that. This is a very specific message for someone. So if you don't relate to this, that is totally fine. And I'm happy for you. <laughs> like, I would not wish this on my worst 
enemy. Or maybe I would. Maybe I would be like, if you feel like you want to give this to other people, then you try dealing with it because it sucks. And with the Empress Reverse, Spirit is saying, listen, your intention, your heart, your work, and what we gave, like, you are the gift that we gave the, like, you are the gift that we've given to the world. You are the gift that we've given to the world. Does this mean that you're better than anybody? No, I don't even feel like you feel that way. But not everybody has good intention for you. Not everybody wants the best for you. This could be people as close to you in your inner circle or as distant as people that you've never even met or that you don't even know exist. But they watch. They watch and they want and they, they want things from you. Eight of Wands. You may be hearing messages from them, getting phone calls. This could be a relationship, a partner that's just like, well, it's very narcissistic energy that it is that I'm seeing that you're dealing with. People that feel like they're obligated to something from you and spirit is like, protect her at all costs. And do not feel bad. I, I can't. Like, do not feel bad telling them no. I don't want you to just have this energy. So spirit, no, spirit was just like, they needed to hear that, Jess. Okay. So what are you, <laughs> the tower card? Oh my gosh. Judgment day. Boom. Love that. I love that. So spirit was like, they needed to hear that, Jess. I can hear spirit talking to me. Um, They're like, now go back to what it was that we were saying before that this this is why like that was what I just said all of what I just said was why you're looking at I don't know if you guys remember it but I think it was the six of pentacles with a white fox in the corner the white fox in the corner has good intentions totally good intentions but you're so used to people taking advantage of you or again I keep hearing taking your kindness for weakness or you wanting the best for others and you wishing the best for others that somehow that's people are skewing that into something other than what it is or just being like, oh, we can beat up on her. We can talk shit about her. We can take advantage of her. We could do this to her. And it's just like, no, Spirit says, absolutely not. She's our golden girl. She's our golden boy or he's our golden boy or they're our golden person. We're not going to just drop you in a piranha, you know, aquarium and just watch you get consumed by these malicious soulless human beings or these people or these entities no they understand spirit understands your hesitation when it comes to anything new coming in but <laughs> something is <laughs> something is and it's very sweet and it does have good intentions. And it's not going to ask anything of you. It just wants to be there for you. It just wants to be there for you. These are going to be... I do not see this as just one thing. This is going to be every area of your life, my love. Please believe me. Again, I've, I must have said this for every single pile. But I would never lie to you. I would never fucking lie to you. Spirit is like, literally, we're not going to put you in that battleground. We pulled you out of the battleground. We pulled you out of that place for a reason. You, you didn't deserve that. And we don't want you to stay in that. And that's not, not everyone is like that. There are really good people out there. In fact, if you exist, that means that others exist just like you with good intention. You are to find the place, the space that is that you belong. And I don't feel like you're hearing that enough. The reason why you don't hear it enough is because it's um, like um, a conversation that people have again and again and again. So you don't feel like you have to say it or you don't feel like you have to hear it because, and you almost kind of shut it down. But the fact that you're not hearing it because it's kind of like expected or you like know that it kind of exists, it's making you kind of doubt. Does it exist? Because you're shutting it out before you can hear it. So this could be like fairy tales stories or rags to riches you know makeover tales that other people have experienced or finding true love in a soulmate especially with the four of wands here and the ace of cups in the tower there are things that it's like you know that it happens so you don't even allow yourself to listen to those stories anymore because you're like well i know that it happens so i just am not i don't need to hear it again i'm just going to carry on and with my progress or whatever and it's like spirit is like, no, the fact that you, 
you don't allow yourself to listen to them or read these stories anymore, you scroll past it, it's making you believe that it doesn't exist because you're not hearing it as much as you should, but you are hearing about all the bullshit out there in the world and all the craziness that people are doing that that's now that's all that you are hearing and seeing and experiencing. That's all in your reality. And now we just want to pour into you. We just want to pour into you. And that's why spirits like, <laughs> like it, it almost feels like, um, not malicious, but it feels very tricky because they're like, yeah, we're going to catch her off guard. We're going to catch him off guard. It's going to be a judgment day and the best kind of judgment day. And if we need to clarify it, fine. Hmm. Look at that. The fool card. This is a new beginning. This is the dawn, the age of Aquarius. <laughs> that song just came through. All right, my loves. Let's just do one last card here. Speak to me. I don't like that. I didn't like what I thought. Okay. High Priestess and the Sun card. Lovely jubbly. See? We got dark. We got light. We have night. We have day. We have happiness. We have intuition. You know. You know. You know. This has a lot of soulmate energy on it. This has a lot of best friend energy. This has a lot of business collaborations connected to it linking merging businesses taking your your brand your platform to the next level love that for you you know it you know i'm also seeing you guys watching a movie or reading a story of someone or something that has done what you want for yourself re-watching and reliving that movie even if you might have watched that movie again and again and again and again and again. Let's do some charms. Right, I'm going to shake this little baby up. Till you see that. I just heard stupid Cupid. <laughs> Some of you guys are ready to shoot the messenger. Maybe I'm the messenger. Don't shoot me. Don't you send bad juju my way. Anyways, um, yeah, little Cupid here, but someone called him stupid. Just messed up. He's out here just doing his job. Just you're just like, no, I don't want to call him mommy. It's like, yeah, well. <laughs> Life is about love, not just heartbreak. I do see Twin Flames love. I need to talk to you guys about this, okay? Um, s s twin Flames, soulmate, life partner, this is it. It's in the cup. It's in the cup. It's in the energy. It's in the air. Just don't, just stop fighting it. Don't fight it. Come on. Love, true love, romance, fairy tales, wish fulfillment. We have the memory card here. Interesting. Oh, secret. Spirit, I want you to speak to me about these. I'm going to carry on with the charms. So we have this heart here, the two hearts. This is the sister term, I'm pretty sure. Yep. But I feel like it's finding your counterparts when it comes to friendships, when it comes to love, business, etc., etc. Be you bravely, choose happy. Wow. Go see and explore. We have two, so someone might, their soulmate, their divine counterpart might be same sex. Maybe there's a part of you that's just like resisting that and 
now you're just kind of like tapping into it, especially with the high priestess here. Oh no, that's the justice card, especially with sisters. You know what's funny? This reminds me of this, there's this bar in Philadelphia called Sisters. I don't know if it's still there, but it was like the lesbian bar. Oh, and the death card. So that's a very specific message for someone. Others, I definitely see like you just totally tapping into goddess energy. I do have Yoni steams, Yoni steams in my shop. Love them. Use them all the time. Yep. And then we have Taurus and Libra, my loves. That's v Venetian energies all over it. Some of you guys are really, I heard the word you've like inflicted pain. There's been so much pain. You have these two runes. I believe one of them is the soulmate one. I would not be surprised if I saw that, but I'm gonna link it down for you below. Yep, you have the U here. You have the teacup or the coffee cup. Some of you guys are really taking some time out. Oh, look at this. Some of you guys are really taking some time out for yourself. Okay, now you have gears. There's something in the works here that you might, I'm just getting the sense of like, you just being so uncomfortable with it, but it's in the works. Why are you uncomfortable with it? Because you've been, you're really been defensive and guarded. And as I'm saying that, you also have the cancer charm, which is about finding where it is that you belong, but it's also very, 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 very defensive. Look at this. You have so much feminine energy around you. So if you're not, there's two messages that, are, well, a specific message that I'm seeing here. So there's definitely like sexuality, feminine sexuality, or exploring that. I was just talking about that with one of my good friends the other day. Loved her still do love her we're talking about um am i allowed to say this on youtube self-pleasure <laughs> um and her sexual awakening which is a really awesome conversation and shout out to you my love i loved our conversation um especially with this butterfly here but so there's that but there's also tapping into divine feminine energy ocean goddess energy for fill in the blank for whatever your background is with that or just tapping into like um softness big time softness especially with this teacup here something is definitely dying out here something i i'm also getting um yeah especially with sand castles here generational curses just totally you have keys here you have ge gears here you have three keys i'm sorry yeah you have three keys and you have three gears something is definitely in the works with mother magdalene or mary mary mother of god The scissors are re really speaking to me, but I don't have the words for it yet, so I'm going to wait. Oh, yeah, believe in love. Oh, my God, guys, you have Paris twice. Of course, this could be you taking a trip to Paris, but really, what is it I'm seeing? <laughs> oh, my God. Here's some more feminine energy. <laughs> I love, I'm so sorry. This is so funny. <laughs> oh my God. It's just so feminine. Like it's so forward. Like it's so forward. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. I love that for you. Then we have, um, <laughs> we have lovely. Yeah, I do feel like, if it's not, again, if it's not tapping into feminine energy or feminine sexuality, it's definitely about you falling into yin energy and attracting your divine counterpart. Um, <laughs> I just love this reading. It's just really giving me so much life. I also see the, the ballerina here, which it's, it is about grace and beauty and refinement, but it's also, it's so much about the hard work. And it's not easy being a woman. <laughs> I'm one, so I know, you know? Or it's not easy transitioning into becoming a woman. There's, with the sand castles here, we have this, because um, a lot of you guys are trans, you know, transgender. And I, 
I freaking, I'm here with you. This is a safe space. We, you are my family. You are my people. Love you. Love you. You are going places. You are transforming. You are transitioning. This is beautiful. Have hope. Oh, my, my camera cut out. But some of you guys are going to be seeing having family come in that's international or people coming internationally coming in to see you. And things that are not permanent are going to be falling falling apart with the waves of the ocean. That's just how life is, baby. That's just how life is. All right, let's do the oracle cards because it's my camera. Wants a break. Oh, you have a four-leaf clover. Okay. What a beautiful pile. Truth. That speaks for itself. Transcending. Uncertainty. Into the thick of it. And the numbers, because I feel like these are significant for this pile, 32, 28, and 43. All that glitters. Change is always good. Pucker up, buttercup, and you have more options than you realize. So I do see this message around change and transition. I do see self-love and you being receptive. And then I'm also seeing you... Being very careful and mindful about what it is that you choose and not make make not needing to make a quick decision, just kind of allowing yourself to enjoy this process. Over time, truth reveals itself, but I'm also seeing you tapping deeper into, oh my God. Yeah, with truth and deception here and release your ex, there is something that you're letting go of. Some, And this actually makes a lot of sense. This has to do a lot to do with people who have honestly just been taking advantage of you. And this is just not, it's make you, it's made you feel like you're not lovable. It's made you feel like uncertain about yourself, your self-worth or where it is that you're going. But honestly, you're, you let that go. Here's Cupid. And you're like, stupid Cupid. He's the one who got me in this freaking mess. Because if it was me, I wouldn't have chosen it. I know. I hear you. But change is good. And there are more things out there than you think. And sometimes it's what you were initially attracted to that got you in the bind. And now that you know better, you do better. And spirit is on your side. And there is good things out there for you. All right, my loves. So I'm going to go do some research on your runes. Make sure that you check down in the comments in order to see which message, additional message is there for you. Um, if you need me, you can find me at bahadilife.com. I'm always working my magic there. I'll link it down below. Um, one candle that I really recommend for you guys is the Nectar of Life candle. It's a pink candle. It's very soft. It's very feminine. It's very receptive. Um, so I definitely see that. And I'm also seeing Goddess Vibes and Soulmate Oils and, oh, the Yanni Steam. I will link that down below. Until then, I will want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And if there's a specific message or pick a card message that you would like me to do in the future, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to do that. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Love ya.